Hi, I'm Richard Lloyd, author of the Alchemical Guitarist column in Guitar World. Uh, this month, I'm going to show you a way of breaking out of the boxes completely uh, in any of the 84 regular major scales using the basic three note patterns, the, the uh, ABCs of uh, major scale patterns. They are two whole steps. <laughs> whole step and a half step, and half step and a whole step. If I take a scale up the single string, I'll see that those are the only three patterns I'll meet up with. One, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, five, four, five, six, five, six, seven, seven, six, seven, one, and seven, one, two. There's only three patterns. So instead of moving across the board in fourths, or in thirds and fourths, I'm going to move across in a combination of fourths and fifths. That will place the entire seven notes of a major scale, uh, whether it's major or minor is a subset of the word I'm using, major. Um, and then that will simply replicate itself on the three two-string patterns. I have six strings. I will put seven notes on each of two strings. And that's it. Watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I have to come up a whole step to the seven. That puts my index finger in the position of the octave. So then I just do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the way down, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Simple enough. The movement is every other string, so I need, need to be able to count to two while doing this activity. Up, 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 down, down, down. Simple enough, okay? It's all outlined in the column as well. If I take F and I start to uh, make it a two, I have whole step, half step, and I move up to the five. Then I go six, one, two, six, seven, one, two, six, two, six. And on the way down, I have to use, uh, in order to keep the fingering pattern the same, I have to use the note that I used up here, I have to use down here. So I'm going to go. See, I skipped along. I uh, put a little pause between each of the three two-string sets. That's to give you an idea that you're playing an identical scale three times. It sounds like one long scale, but it's really a replication of a very simple move. Then if I go and I make the F to three, it's the exact same architecture, except for the inner finger is now my middle finger instead of my ring finger. Watch. If I start from the four, it's identical to the first pattern, except when I started from the tonic, I moved up on the A string for the tritone. This is a tritone. From the four to the seven is three whole steps. Now I just put the three whole steps on the first string. Four, one, four, one. If I start from a five, it's really a truncated tritone. There's no real two note, uh, two, rather, two string pattern for it. So I will have to cross three strings with the same pattern and then go up on the D string, which will be five, one, four, one, four, one. If I go up from the six, it's the same as the two, except I go up instead of going up two, I go up on the A string, G string, and I would go up on the E string, but that would break my fingering pattern, so I truncate it. And then on the way down, I'll go down on the second string I hit, the B string, the D string, like this.
And if I start from seven, it's the same thing, except for the inner finger changes. So I got up, up, but I won't, I'll truncate it. The wonderful thing about this is that all the movements are whole steps, that is two frets. It makes it very simple to learn, and I advocate using only outside pivots. And what I mean by that, I'm going to explain. An outside pivot is where the finger that is closest to the direction you're going does the sliding or the pivoting. So the pinky will go up and the index finger will go down at all times. That's the reason for the different arrows on the diagrams. An inside pivot is where you take the outside finger and you pull up into the direction that the hand is already sitting in, or the pinky goes down. Uh, just to give you a quick example of that, I'll show you. If I take an inside pivot, um, I'll pull the strings down and up. And if I do an outside pivot, I suggest only outside pivots for this particular um, work, and I also advocate only learning it by pattern structure for a very good reason, which is the following. You don't want to hit a clunker. If you start with pattern two, I'll start from G just to uh, be uh, different. I do two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. And I have done this seven note scale. However, if I make a mistake and instead of going up, I go across, I'm hitting the same note. So I've hit a correct note. Then I use my ring finger and I'm still hitting a correct note. Then I use my pinky and I'm hitting a sour note. It's a clunker. But I haven't found out until I, it's too late. So it's better to learn this uh, like uh, an old dance school where they put um, diagrams of the feet and numbers on the floor, and you learn the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, and then they add the music. It's better, you need to learn this by muscle memory, and you need to get this in, embedded into your bone marrow. Um, the reason that I say this will cover all 84 scales, that's 12 keys in um, seven modes, is that you can use any pattern in any key because the guitar, once it leaves the nut, is key free. Let's say I'm in A in positional play. <laughs> I see I'm going to have to have a finger change, middle to ring. I can just slide up. And let's say I go across to the G string. I go ring, ring. That way, no matter what key I'm in, no matter what scale I'm in, I can slot either the A, B, or C pattern into that key, mostly by hunting and pecking for a moment or two. As soon as I find out where the half tones are, the half steps are, I'll know where the one is. Or um, secondarily, as soon as I find the tritone, I'll know where the one is. So uh, I wish you a lot of good luck practicing this column. Um, and I hope this video has been some of, of some benefit for you. I can guarantee you with, with complete confidence that if you practice the pattern structures and forego an attempt to create music out of it right away, uh, that it will benefit you greatly and lead you to enormous uh, versatility on the instrument, moving, sliding, up, down, and sideways. Good luck. I'll see you next month.